Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani from learn-automation.com. This is the part 2 of extent report 3 and in the previous video we have seen how we can create the extent report, create multiple tests, how to attach screenshot manually. In this video we will see how to attach a screenshot in extent report automatically. Anyways, I have covered this particular uh, video uh, like how to attach screenshot on failure in my YouTube channel. So if you have not gone through it, uh, just search for uh, screenshot on failure. You will get my one of the video and where I have given a step by step how you can capture screenshot of the failed test cases. So I will try to cover the same code here. So I will recommend you to go through that video once again. This is the previous example which we have seen. So what I will do, I will create a fresh test and I will say extent report demo 2. And I will simply uh, remove everything, not everything. Let me just remove this and uh, let me create one particular method and I will say this is a setup. And one more particular method which I will say tear down. Okay. And this I will say before method because I want to run this before running my uh, test, and this I will say after method. And uh, I will simply take the same code. Let me just remove this. So I will just take these three particular statements and I will keep this this particular as a global variable. Okay, so we can use for multiple tests and I will just remove from here. Same thing I will do for extent test as well and I will make this as a global variable. So now we have a logger, we have extent object. And now here I test result. I will not go into the details because this I already covered. So I would recommend you to watch my previous video. So in simple words, whatever test you execute, all the results will come into this particular variable. And I will check if result dot get status. Guest status is a method which will return you the status of your test. It can be pass or fail. And I will check if I test result is equal to failure, then capture the screenshot. And in order to capture the screenshot, first of all, I have created a utility. And in this utility, I created this method called driver. Okay. And what exactly this uh, get a screenshot will do, it will capture the screenshot. And still, if you're not sure how to capture the screenshot for that, also I have another video which will explain you how to capture the screenshot. In normal terms, we have a separate interface which will help you to capture screenshot. This method will capture the screenshot and I created a path variable where it will go to my particular user directory, go to screenshot folder and it will capture the screenshot with this particular time and I will attach .png. Okay, and uh, simply we need to call one method called copy files where it will ask you source and destination. Source is this, destination is this, which we have created in terms of file, and we are returning the path. Okay, so why we are returning the path? Because we need this path in order to attach the screenshot in the reports. So, this particular method will do all this activity, return you the path of the screenshot. And this driver is still we have not given because we have not written any Selenium script. So let me quickly write web driver driver. And uh, let me just start the driver instance equal to new Chrome driver. And I will say driver dot get I will provide an URL and I will capture the uh, title. It 
can be anything. So I will say driver.get title and I will put assert statement assert dot assert true and uh, forcefully I will try to fill this. Okay, so I'm checking if con title contains Mukesh, definitely it will not contain Mukesh, then it will fail. And if it is failing, it should come to this particular method and it should attach the screenshot. Okay, so let me store this in a variable called let's say temp. And to this particular, okay, this also we need to add here attached reporter this part is done so I will go ahead and remove this and this anyways we don't need so what I will do I will just call this method and and now we don't need logger 2 because we are maintaining one logger so I will keep this logger here and uh, in spite of writing some dummy description what you can do in the result anyways we have the complete exception right so I will say get uh, throwable dot to string and uh, or maybe I will say dot to uh, get message so whatever exception it will throw it will add plus it will also uh, you can see this is also throwing exception that's fine in spite of using this particular hard coded path, you can use the temp variable which have the actual screenshot path. Right. So now before method is ready, before method it will start this reporter, start this uh, report object, attach, it will start the logger. And the after test we are calling if test case failed, capture the screenshot, get the path and we are adding here and finally we need to say extend dot flush don't forget to add this flush method and to make it simple what I will do I will just uh, keep this in an order anyways order doesn't matter because they will run based on their preferences but to make it in a readable format first we have before method test and after method and now I can provide any URL so I will provide Google no problem so just go ahead and search for www.google.com okay and as we know we need to set the property so system dot set property web driver dot chrome dot driver and this is what we have that's all so let me run this test what it will do it will go ahead and create another report with learn automation 2 it will try to run this test open google title title definitely will not match it will come it will fail and it should also close the browser so i will say driver dot quit so let's right click run as test engine test starting the browser opening google not matching failed and you can see this is failed here but let's go ahead and check the extent report automatically it has captured the screenshot or not so right click uh, refresh and this is the latest report You can see automatically it has captured okay expected true but found false you can see this we have not added this automatically this particular method which we have added it is coming through this so if you directly say result dot get throwable dot get message means whatever exception it is coming it will capture and it will add into the report as well okay so like this you can attach screenshot on failure automatically using this after after method and I test result and just a small disclaimer um, if you are using latest selenium which is 3.6 to, 
or any version which is after 3.6 in order to capture the screenshot, you need to also add one dependencies. If you don't add these dependencies, it will not work. So if you're working with the latest versions, don't forget to add this dependency into your poem. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. If you still have any doubt, you can Drop an email to my email ID, which is Mukesh Otwani at the Learn Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.